Hey, what's going on? Welcome to Times of Fantasy Sports Talk. I'm your host, the one and only Wave of Wire Queen. Before we get started, I want to send a special shout out to the three Ks, my little snickerdoodles. Auntie loves you. I hope you guys are doing, enjoying your weekend. And then I want to send a shout out to Janir and Harmony. Happy birthday again, Janir. Hope you had a great weekend. You look like you had a lot of fun at your birthday party. I hope you got everything you wanted. All right, y'all. Before we get started, do me a favor and hit that subscribe button and follow Wave of Wire Queen for all your fantasy sports and um, news, your, your sports news. Come on now. And then uh, follow me on Facebook and IG at Dream Elite Strive for Excellence. And that is excellence with the X. BX, stand up. Nah. All right. With all of that, let, let's get right into it. I'm, I'm excited about uh, tomorrow. I'm going to give my predictions on who I think is going to the Super Bowl. This is going to be an ex uh, two exciting games. I'm really excited about the second game because I think that game is, is going to be some scoring. There's going to be some real scoring in that game. But before we get to that game, let's talk about Tampa Bay Buccaneers versus the Green Bay Packers. Shout out to one of my favorite quarterbacks in the NFL, Aaron Rodgers, A-Rod. I remember one year, First time I ever had a chance to, to grab him in uh, fantasy football as my starting quarterback. I drafted him early, and then he ended up getting hurt that season. I was mad as hell. But I don't care. He's still one of my favorites. Um, he's had, he's, he had a hell of a season so far in the playoffs. He's doing his thing. Um, he did well against the Rams defense, which was the number one defense in the league. That may have had something to do with Aaron Donald not being there. And he's another one of my faves. But anyways, also shout out to Tom Brady. He's in the playoffs with the Buccaneers and not the Patriots. So, you know, Tom's still doing his thing over 40. It's amazing. I have no, no issues with him. But let's get right into this game. First, I'll just say that I honestly think it's going to be a solid game. It's not going to be as much score in this game, too, but um, – I'm going to say that the Packers are going to win this game. That's where I'm at. Packers are going to win this game. I still think it's going to be a good game. It's not going to be a blowout or anything like that. So some the reason why I think the Packers are going to win this game is because I just think uh, they've been a, a, a more consistent and solid team all season. They're playing in Green Bay. Um, I don't know what the weather's going to be like, but you know, if it's, if it's any type of snow or if it's cold, that's, that's right up there, Allie. But um, um, Aaron Rodgers has played like an MVP this season. Like He has a chance to be the MVP. Um, I still, you know, I think they may give it to Mahomes. But um, Aaron Rodgers has had a, a hell of a season. Um, Devontae Adams has had an amazing season as well. And he should be um, in consideration for MVP as well. So those are the two X factors for me. And those are always going to be the X factors because those, those are their best plays. And then you got Aaron Jones. I don't think Aaron Jones is going to have that, that, that game, that great game. He's going to be old. He's going to be solid, but I don't think he's going to have a great game because Tampa Bay, they had the number one run defense in the NFL this season so that is going to be important so look for Rodgers to to hook up and connect with um, Adams throughout like he did all season anyways it's, it's like after you see them to hook it up so much this season you look at teams like damn like you can't hold them like double triple team him but no He's just a hell of a, a wide receiver, and, and he's one of the top, if not the top. He definitely was uh, the top wide receiver, in my opinion, um, this past season. And uh, no, uh, Diggs was right, right up, right, uh, right behind, right under him. And we're talking about statistics and just the impact they had on the game for their teams this season. Those two players had a hell of an impact for both of their teams. I think that. Um, Tampa's going to 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 hang in there. Um, Brady is. I don't think he's going to turn the ball over much. Um, he's going to be without Aaron. I mean Aaron. He's going to be without Antonio Brown. So AB is not going to play. So he's going to be without him. I think um, 
Mike Evans and Godwin are going to have solid games. I think the key for them is to, 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 to get Fournette the ball, get, get your running backs involved, Fournette and Jones, more so Fournette, in my opinion, and then take advantage of um, Evans and um, Godwin, mainly Evans. It's unfortunate AB can't play because that's just one less weapon. But, I mean, hell, when you look, you still got Evans and Godwin. So, you know, um, Tom is going to have to worry about um, Zadarius Smith, who uh, I think he had over 12 and a half uh, sacks this season. So the key for the, the Packers is to, to, to put a lot of pressure on Brady. If they can get to him, if, if Zadarius, Zadarius, can't even pronounce the man's name, right? If Smith, I'll just stick to the last name. If Smith can put a lot of pressure on Brady and and, and hit him a few times, um, it's going to be a long day. But then on the other side, I look at um, the Buccaneers defense, and they have um, Sue, JPP, um, White. And um, what's the other guy's name? Barrett, Shaquille Barrett. They have those guys. That's part of why they had the number one run defense. So um, Aaron Rodgers is going to have some things to worry about too. So they're both quarterbacks are going to have some things to worry about. I feel like this is going to come down to turnovers. So got to protect the ball. You see in um, the game against the uh, – when. Tampa played the Saints. Um, Breeze didn't uh, protect the ball. So that to me was the key in that game. I think that's going to be the key in this game. But ultimately, I feel like the Packers are going to the Super Bowl. Look for Devontae Adams to have a big game. Devontae Adams is going to have a big game and Rodgers is going to be solid. On Tampa's side, I, I'm going to say Evans is going to have a, 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 a big game as well. But Ultimately, the Packers are going to the Super Bowl. So all the Packer fans out there, get ready to go to the Super Bowl. All right. Um, I don't want to talk too much about that, that game. Um, it's going to be a good game. But like I said, Packers are going to win. Let's go into the more exciting game. I think it's going to be an exciting game. Bills versus Kansas City Chiefs. I think this is going to be, um, I don't, I don't want to say a high scoring game, but we're gonna get, we're gonna see some more. I think they're gonna score more points in this game. Both offenses to me are, are really good. I, I'm excited to see both of the both quarterbacks, Mahomes and um, Allen, get out there and hook up with their with their wide receivers, um, Diggs and Allen. That duo that that's gonna be key tomorrow. And I'm looking forward to see obviously all the time Mahomes and Hill and Kelsey. Neither one of these defenses were like in the top 10 with Buffalo being, um, I think their defense was ranked 14th and KC, their defense was ranked 16th. However, I do feel like there are some, there's going to, somebody's going to have to, to stop someone. You know, I feel like Buffalo has a better defense, obviously with the rankings of 14 and 16, but to me, that's really not much of a difference. But somebody on defense for these two teams is going to have to make a play. Um, you got White for the uh, Bills, um, Addison, Hughes, Klein. Somebody's going to have to make a play, and it may have to be a game-changing play in order to, to get to the Super Bowl. However, I feel like the Chiefs will pull this one off because we're, they're playing at home. As long as Mahomes is playing – well and then he's projected to play tomorrow so hopefully he plays I don't ever want to see teams down with you know you down your starting quarterback if uh, Mahomes wasn't playing I would be saying the Bills is definitely going to win this game however I don't think this is just going to be some blowout for the Chiefs because I feel like the Bills offense is going to be able to hang with them OK, they'll be able to hang with them and score points. And but it's going to just come down to who is going to make that key stop. I think both teams are capable of making that stop. I, 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 I like what the Bills have to offer a bit more on defense. But I mean, um, with, with Casey, they have their 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 top guys. You got Clark Jones and, and Taryn. Maybe he'll get an inter interception or something on Allen. Um, I do see Allen getting a Russian TD in this game. Um, 
they're going to be with uh, the Bills are going to be without Moss. Not that he's had a, a really solid season. Um, Singletary, I'm cold on him. Um, to me, maybe they. Sh I think they should look at getting um, T.J. Yielding. Yes, I know people are like, "What? Come on now, get him in, uh, involved in more of a, as your passer, passing down back. Get him in there and and and." throw the ball to him I think he can make something more happen I feel like he has a better opportunity to be a, a more impact player in this game but I don't see them really using him so that's gonna be on them if they listen to me you you know you'll have a better chance at uh, beating Kansas City even though I'm saying Kansas City's gonna win I feel like yielding that's a diff something different that's a different aspect a different running back than um, Singletary. I'm not high on him. I'm not high on Yielding, but I think for for tomorrow's game, he he's going to be able to, to, to help them out. You know, who else are you really going to go to? You can't have Allen do all of the running because that's, not, that's just not good. But anyways, I think Diggs is going to have a, a nice, a nice game. Um, be on the lookout for Cole Beasley to have a solid game. I think Allen's going to play well. Um, he showed me a lot, and he showed me that uh, he's he's here. He's a, He has arrived as a, a franchise quarterback in the NFL. Yes, yeah, so all the Buffalo fans, yeah, I'm admitting it. Okay, yes, he has arrived, and he's been doing his thing all season. Um, there's games I've watched, and I'm like, okay, yeah, he's not. And he's um, he's played well. So I feel like so far he's battle-tested. He's played against some really good defenses already in the playoffs because I felt like, um, the Ravens defense is better was better than um, Kansas City and um, Bills defense. So he's played against a, a, a solid defense and he played well. He did what he did enough to win the game. You know, he didn't have his when you look at his stats for that game, you're not going to be like, oh, wow, he had a just great game. But he did what he had to do to win the game. Sometimes at the quarterback position is not going to be about, oh, you had 350 yards or whatnot. Sometimes it's about not turning that ball over and just doing uh, doing enough to get to where you need to get to. And that's exactly what he did against uh, the Ravens. I think tomorrow he's he's going to have to do more because you're dealing with a team that's going to score the score the ball. They're just unstoppable at times. And Buffalo will have to score to, to, to keep to, to keep up with them. And they and they're capable of doing it. So I feel like it's gonna have a this gonna this game's gonna be exciting. It's gonna be fun. Um Bills Mafia, you know, they've been talking talking their team up all season and they proved a lot of people wrong, letting people know that all season their team's been doing it. They have. So congrats to Bills Mafia. Your team is one game away from the Super Bowl. Um, but there you have it. I have the Packers and the Kansas City Chiefs going to the Super Bowl. They'll be playing in Tampa. That's what I think. Yeah, it's going to be in Tampa. So those are my, my predictions for the games tomorrow. And, um, you know, let me know what y'all think. You know, do y'all think I got it wrong? Do you think someone else is going to the Super Bowl? You think it's going to be an upset? I think the the game that has the potential for an upset will be that Bills versus Chiefs game. I think the Bills have the potential to upset them. However, I don't think it's going to – I'm going to go with Packers, Chiefs, and the Super Bowl. That's what I had uh, before the playoffs started. Uh, at the beginning of the season, I had the Chiefs. I was at first looking at Tampa. But as the season went on and I looking at Green Bay, they're serious. It's not a game with A-Rod. He's like, I got that much more time left. I need some more rings. I need some more jewelry. That's that's what he that's what he's trying to do. So um that's my predictions. Y'all let me know who y'all think is gonna um go to the Super Bowl. Who's winning tomorrow? Who you think is gonna have a big game? Who you think is gonna take carry that team to the next level? More importantly, on defense, who do y'all think is gonna make a big play? game change and play as going to send their team to the Super Bowl. All right, y'all, that's 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 all for me. Wave a wire queen. Time is up for my predictions for the games on Sunday. Um, y'all hit that subscribe button, follow Wave a Wire Queen for more. Um, follow me on Facebook and IG at Dream Elite Strive for Excellence. That's excellence with an X. I'll do the BX. 
and y'all have a great evening. Peace.